Hello guys, it's Hazard and today we are watching another Sunny V2 video and this time it is the dumbest lottery winners of all time. I know of a few, but let's see which ones he covers. Throwing a three million pound lottery ticket in the bin to spending an entire sixteen million dollar prize in under ninety days. These are the absolute dumbest lottery winners wow. of all time. Beginning with Jose Antonio Quartok, okay. who almost lost wow. his entire lottery fortune all after boss. getting someone else to claim the money for him. You see, when Jose won the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar jackpot back in two thousand and ten, he was living in the U.S. illegally. So Jose oh. asked his boss to claim the prize on his behalf, as he feared he couldn't claim the money without potentially facing legal trouble and deportation. This worked out perfectly until Jose's boss began to falsely state that he was the one who had actually purchased the ticket. Taking legal action against his Ooh, boss awesome. was risky. Yeah, how are you going to take legal action versus someone if you're too scared to pick up a to check because you're scared of deportation? You're surely getting deported in that case. Even Jose wasn't supposed to be in the country at all. However, yeah, given he had security camera footage of him purchasing the ticket, Jose did so and was able to prove that he was the rightful owner to the $750,000 prize. Only $250,000 this went to taxes, another $250,000 was spent on court fees, and throughout the legal process, Jose was jailed for drunk driving and was deported back to Guatemala as soon as he won the court case. Did he However, at least something. Jose Antonio Quartok got to keep some of his winnings, as Denise yep. Rossi wasn't so fortunate. Oh. But Denise won a jackpot of 1.3 million back in 1996. She'd been married to Thomas. Wait, wait, how much is that in inflation? <clears throat> inflation calculator. 1996, right? 1.3. <clears throat> million dollars in 1996 calculate that's two and a half milli Yikes. 1.3 million back in 1996. She'd been married to Thomas Rossi for over 25 years, huh? yet their relationship was apparently lacking in transparency, as Denise didn't tell her husband about the win and instead filed for divorce only 11 days after buying the lucky ticket. I was afraid to tell Thomas because I knew he would try to take the money away from me. I went huh? to the Lottery Commission office and told them I was married but contemplating divorce. They told me to file before I got my first check, which I did. Denise was initially successful in hiding the money from her now ex husband. Husband, as for a whole two years after their divorce, Thomas had no idea that Denise had ever won the but lottery. Then. However, in May 1999, a letter was sent to Thomas's home address asking if Denise was interested in a lump sum buyout of her lottery winnings. This was the first Thomas knew about the lottery prize. He confirmed that Denise was a winner with the California lottery, and given they were still married at the time of the win, Thomas launched a lawsuit stating that he was in How much did he get? The prize money. The judge specifically found that Denise's failure to disclose the lottery winnings constituted fraud, oppression, and malice and as a from 1.3 million to jail result the trial court awarded thomas a hundred percent of the lottery winnings which left denise with less than nothing considering the trial court found that denise's evidence that her share of the lottery winnings was a gift a gift from who oh yeah it's i did not win this money this was a gift from the lottery commission <laughs> Denise motion to vacate residence. She also had to pay for her own legal fees. However, Denise's loss of 1.3 million was still nothing in comparison to Evelyn Adams. Dubbed Evelyn. the luckiest woman in America, Evelyn Adams became the first person in human history to win the lottery twice, Damn. initially for 3.9 million in October 1985, before winning another 1.4 million four months later. With the probability of this win being approximately 1 in 17.3 trillion, Evelyn seemed to realize that she had no lottery luck left by stating that she was going to quit playing and instead began to buy various businesses, including the convenience store where the lucky tickets had been purchased. While no. you could argue that this was a smart move, Evelyn still hadn't fixed her gambling problem and instead of ah. buying more lottery tickets, okay. she instead yeah. took the gambling rest of her to the Atlantic City casinos where she lost her entire remaining fortune to the slot machines. Without any money left, her businesses failed one after the other and by 2012, oh. Evelyn was living in a trailer park while stating to the media winning the lottery isn't always what it's cracked up to be. Mm. Kelly Rogers likely Dude, had a. It is all that is cracked up to be. You just are not retarded. 
and gamble all your money away. Simple as that. And then it all solves itself. Her outlook, as after winning over 1.8 million pounds at the age of only 16, her life was also ruined. Initially, Kelly stated, I will not go wild and spend loads. I'm gonna take some advice and see an accountant. Hopefully I will make us all comfortable. I wanna help my family, but I won't change. I just want a normal home, nothing posh. I just want a normal car as well. However, as- This is gonna be a mansion home and a very, very expensive car. Soon as she received the money, Kelly instead spent 11,500 pounds on two boob jobs, 300,000 pounds on clothes, makeup, and tattoos, as well as 85,000 pounds on top of the range sports cars. This, wait, 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 but you, you, you still keep like, that's four, that's 400K. To further 250,000 oh. pounds on holidays for locations including Mexico and Euro Disney, 118,000 pounds on gifts to former boyfriends, 190,000 pounds in unreturned loans to friends and family members, and 190,000 in unreturned loans to friends. 50,500 pounds on solicitors fees, all of which being purchased while she was still in high school. Kelly did make a few smart purchases such as an 180,000 pound bungalow and a 96,000 pound home for her mum. However, nice. by the end of the year, Kelly was back to square one, being on welfare with only 2,000 pounds left in her account. She fuck? since stated it was too much money for someone oh. so young. Even if you say your life will okay, change, it does, true. and often not for the better. Yeah, I yeah. just wish I was a bit older at the time of winning it, because I think at 16, you still just a child and overnight you've just got to grow up and become an adult which is probably why she's now an advocate for raising the uk's legal gambling age from 16 to 18. kelly rogers certainly cool. spent her money poorly however at least well, she had the sure. chance to spend it you know. as 25 year old amanda clayton from Ooh, detroit she didn't get into it by the end of her spending spree when amanda what? won the million dollar jackpot back in 2011 it seemed as though her life had been changed overnight however her win quickly became controversial after the what? media learned that she was still collecting food stamps and benefit payments despite having won the lottery. Troy Why? Woman is now the second lotto winner in the state to keep taking food stamps after hitting it big. The second Amanda one. Clayton, who won a million bucks and took home a $700,000 lump sum. The 24-year-old says even though she now owns two homes, she figured she was still allowed to use a bridge card. After being confronted about the behavior, Amanda had the following to say. I thought what that is... they would cut me off, but since they didn't, I thought maybe it was okay because I'm not working. And shortly thereafter, she was charged with two felony counts of welfare fraud and was ordered to pay back the $5,500 <sighs> worth of food stamps she'd received. While Amanda quickly eh, paid the $5,500 okay. back, she never got the chance to spend the rest of the money as All only right. six months later she would unfortunately overdose in one of her two homes. He says she was tormented Rip. by the fame and the problems that came with winning the lottery. Well, what's the point of having money if you're not going to have happiness? He says she didn't want the money anymore and bought things for her family and set up college funds for her children. He says she only only had $67,000 of her winnings left. The end to Amanda Clayton's story was somewhat this unexpected. Should... Oh, However, a two this second glance at Ryan Something McGee good. is more than enough to predict that this lottery win would eventually end in disaster. Oh yeah, he looks like someone. Point four million pounds back in 2008 at the age of 27. Ryan was placed on the okay, that... times. Okay, you're 27 years old. How can you ruin that top 100 rich list for young people he purchased a luxury mansion in his home country of ireland which featured okay. five bedrooms an indoor swimming pool a full champagne bar and a two-car garage where he kept his brand new ferrari 458 italia however as you might expect this is where things began to go terribly only three years after buying the ferrari ryan slipped off the road crashing the car into a field mainly because he was driving in the snow locals were why and was driving Oh, why are you driving a Ferrari in the snow? You buy another expensive car for the snow. Like a uh, Land, Land Rover or a uh, Bentley or some shit like that, you know? The Ferrari in that weather, especially when he had a more suitable Range Rover he could use. The I didn't, I did not read that. I really didn't read that. Ferrari was not understood to be running on winter tires, which, while costing around £4,400, hugely boost grip and handling in icy conditions. Ryan's property development business then dissolved, which was accompanied by a divorce from his wife and the sale of his luxury home. Then, two years later, Ryan McGee was pulled over driving an uninsured Ford Focus without a license. However, the most interesting part is that he had to claim legal aid, which is a service for those what? who are unable to afford a lawyer. Now, Ryan McGee was a complete idiot with his money. However, 
Uh, he still looks like Albert An Einstein idiot. when compared to Martin Tot. Oh, what did Martin do? Okay, won three million pounds back in 2001. They didn't go in to claim the prize because, well, they had no idea that they were winners. They purchased a ticket in passing, completely forgotten about it, and would only come to realize that they were the winners after hearing about the unclaimed prize over six months later. The main problem was that at some point, the ticket had been misplaced or thrown out completely. Oh, Despite frantically no. searching the pair, couldn't find their ticket, but were sure they had won because the jackpot numbers matched the ones they used every week. Computer records in their local oh, Londres proved Kay really had purchased the ticket, and the thrilled pair rushed to tell lottery organizer Camelot to claim their prize. Oh, no, they they're fell not. victim to a little known rule, stating lost tickets must be reported oh. within 30 days. After 45 days of deliberation, Camelot told the devastated couple that they would not be collecting the jackpot, <laughs> and as a it result, the couple's marriage eventually came to an end. We'd only known each other for two years, and the lottery oh, ordeal quickly highlighted our differences. Oh, oh my god. Sadly, god. both of us agreed we should split and Kay moved out. Bruh, I Martin would seems to have convinced himself argue as well. Ended up being a good <laughs> Three thing. For a long time, I lost sight of who I was and what I believed in. But I can honestly say I'm glad I didn't get the three million now. There is no sure, 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 sure. And if there's sure, anyone sure, else who would have I'm agreed with the statement, it definitely would have been the most miserable lottery winner of all time, William Post. What's when up, only Post won a 16.2 million dollar jackpot back in 1988. How much? The most miserable lottery winner of all time, William Post. When William won a 16.2 million. Oh my god dollar jackpot back in 1988 he had just $2.46 in his bank account and was able to purchase the lucky ticket by selling a ring for $40 to a local pawn shop this in conjunction with the time he'd spent in jail for cashing invalid checks highlighted William Post's awful money management skills and acted as foreshadowing for how poorly his lottery win was eventually going to be spent only 84 days after receiving the 16.2 million William Post had spent the entire fortune on a boat a lease for a restaurant in Florida a used car lot as well as a private jet. However, even after all of the money had been spent, he still has a jet, a boat, used car lot, and at least for a restaurant. So he still has four things that he could sell in theory. Post took on a further $500,000 loan to purchase a mansion in Oil City, Pennsylvania. The problem was that William hadn't actually purchased the original ticket himself and had rather given the money to his girlfriend who had bought the winning ticket for him. Because of this, she was able to successfully sue him for one third of the winnings, meaning that Post now owed $5.4 million to his ex-girlfriend from oh, the mind, no. $2 million that he no jet. longer had. Since Post jet. was unable to make this payment, the judge ordered that his bank account be frozen until he was able to come up with the money. However, before he was able to sell enough stuff to pay the 5.4 million, William was arrested and ordered to serve a 6 to 24 month prison term for an assault charge from 6 years prior. Toward the what? end of his life, Post was on his 7th marriage with over a million dollars in debt and was getting by on food stamps and a job paying $450 per month. However, William Post still doesn't have the craziest lottery win story of all time. That oh, that's not it. To Andrew Jackson Whitaker, whose life Happy changed though. forever after winning 315 million back in 2002. Unlike almost everyone else in this video, how? How does the jackpot reach that high? Yo, Whitaker was actually quite successful prior to winning the lottery, having built up a net worth of over 17 million with the assistance of his construction company. And while this would imply that he was in a position to manage a large lottery win, this isn't what would happen. Whitaker instantly donated 10% of the winnings to churches, Christian groups, and spent a further 14 million establishing the Jack Whitaker Foundation, which provided free food and clothing for low income families in West Virginia. Obviously, you're doing God's work with all this money. Yes, I am. I'm helping a lot of people and I plan to help a lot more. He then drove back to the convenience store where he had purchased the ticket before giving the clerk a $44,000 check, a $123,000 house, and a brand new Jeep Cherokee, which was followed by Whitaker buying himself a Lamborghini in which he'd drive around his neighborhood throwing money out of the window. After flaunting this wealth, his Lamborghini was broken into where thieves stole $545,000 in cash. However, this apparently wasn't much of a wake up call as his car was then broken into for the second time, oh. resulting in the loss of a further two hundred thousand dollars bro why why are you keeping that money in your car 
Well, he does have 200 million, so, you know, 1 million out the window isn't that bad. All his cash. Jack Whitaker's granddaughter passed away, his daughter then passed away, which was followed by a divorce with his wife. And now you've lost your granddaughter, you're about to be divorced from your wife. Where does this ever end? Leading him to state that he had lost everything. I pretty much lost everything I held dear in my life. You got lots of money. Money is money money has never meant anything to me you have to have money to exist in this world but money money doesn't rule the world money money is not what makes people well, if you didn't that he care that one million almost got stolen i kind of believe in that money doesn't matter to him ever purchased the lottery ticket in the first place my wife had said she'd wish that she'd torn the ticket up well i wish that we had torn the ticket up too i just don't like what i've become Oh, dude, imagine having money and not doing anything productive with it. I mean, I wouldn't do anything productive with it, too, if I'm being completely honest. I would just keep it in the bank, move out, quit my job, and be in my house and chill. I think would be my would be my would be my goal here. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.